I want to share with you a dirty little survival and preparedness industry secret. Now, I'm well aware that I'm about to piss off some other survival sites. They won't be happy that I'm about to lift the curtain behind the giant survival industry profit machine. How this machine manipulates you to make millions of dollars every single year. Here's the deal. No popular survival site, the ones that actually make money, give a crap about you. All they care about is using you to make more money. Sorry, but it's true. Websites are in the business of getting eyeballs to get as many people to visit their site as they can for as cheap as possible. That way, they can, one, sell more ads at a higher price, or two, they can sell other companies' gears and products and they can make a cut of the sale. That's called a commission. Or three, they sell their own products or memberships. But you see, often their primary goal is not to educate, teach, or engage. It's to profit. Now, to profit from any website traffic, you have to bring in lots of new people and at a low cost, if possible. The lower the cost, the better. This is Capitalism 101. Now, one of the best ways to get new visitors on the cheap is to rank high in different search engines for specific keywords. Keywords are the phrases that people type into search engines when they're looking for answers, right? We've all done it. We've all gone to different search engines. I don't need to name names, but there's some really popular ones. You type in something, you push enter, and you look for the results to answer your questions. Of course, survival sites are hoping to rank high for popular survival and preparedness topics. Then, if they do rank high, they hope you click on their website in the search results. And this system leads many popular survival and preparedness sites to write about the same topics over and over again. Oftentimes, nobody's saying anything about these topics that's new or fresh or interesting. But it gets worse. The person searching is doing so because they have unanswered questions, right? Most folks are not experts on these topics. But the survival sites use this search data, this keyword volume data from regular folks to decide what topics they should write about. So it's sort of the blind is leading the blind on what topics should be covered. So the unknowing public is asking basic questions in search engines, and that's fine. But survival sites are using that information to decide what topics that they should write about. And that's okay as well. And that's why survival sites are all targeting the same lucrative keywords, the ones that have volume. Again, this makes total sense because you can't really make much money writing about survival topics that no one's ever searching for. For example, I feel like an important preparedness topic is to have a family separation rally plan. So that after disaster, if you happen to get separated from your loved ones, you'd have ahead of time had a, a meetup plan somewhere safe that you can meet up at a later date. To me, this is a critical topic that more people should be aware of. But as a website owner, I go to see how much volume such a topic could bring me from a search engine. And there isn't much. It's close to zero. Why? Because most folks don't think to ask about this topic. So instead of writing about this important topic... I decide it's not worth my time because it'll never get read. So you see how messed up this system is? Sure, a good teacher wants to answer all their students' questions, but a great teacher goes beyond that. They teach things the student has never even thought to ask. So rarely do you find fresh topics in the biggest survival sites. All the sites are writing about the exact same, very few topics over and over again. And as bad as that sounds, it's not even the worst of it. Most survival sites, they hire amateur writers who know maybe a little bit, but not very much about survival. Why? Because it's almost impossible to find an expert survivalist who's also a great writer. Sure, occasionally that does happen, but most of the time, someone is either a knowledgeable survivalist or a great writer. You rarely find both, and if you do, it's very costly to hire those people. And the truth is, it's way easier and cheaper to hire a decent writer who's fairly decent at research. But how do these writers do their research? Well, these non-survivalist authors, they use search engine results and read those articles to perform the topic research. And sure, the best writers are able to put their own little spin on the topic, but it's mostly a fluff piece with little to no new insights. Websites are also forced to create clickbait headlines. 
It's one of the only ways to cut through the clutter to get a click and a visit. We've all clicked on a very promising article with a great headline, only to be disappointed by the second paragraph. Realizing the article is damn near worthless, that's clickbait. You're disappointed because the exciting headline doesn't match the crappy content. You quickly realize you're just reading regurgitated BS. So the bottom line is this. One, it's cheaper to hire writers as opposed to survival experts. It's easier to rewrite someone else's old article instead of taking the time and effort to provide unique and useful survival insights. And it's not really lucrative to write about unique survival topics because they won't bring any search traffic in. And recently, some websites are even venturing into using artificial intelligent writers, not even humans, to produce their content. That's why it feels like you're on this hunt for survival answers with very little satisfaction. Oh, and one more thing. When you read a blog post or watch a video, you're not really the customer. You're the product. When you read free or cheap newsletters, you're the product. You're the eyeballs. And it's the advertisers who are the real customer. Think about that for a moment. How's that make you feel? Pissed off? Frustrated? Upset? Me too. You're probably wondering right now, while I'm willing to share all this information with you, won't it potentially hurt me by sharing? Couldn't I take a financial hit? Sure, I could. But I care, and that's why I want to do something different. I want to make you the customer and the person I care most about. I don't want to make a single dollar if it's not aligned with your best interests. I've got a few ways I'm going to go about this, but first I want to prove that I'm serious. I want to earn your trust. And I use the word earn seriously because trust should never be given away on the cheap. So my goal with this channel is to blow you away with actionable advice, helpful strategies, and honesty that you won't find in other sites. This sounds like something that you want, something you crave. Do me a favor, subscribe right now. And if for any reason I do not meet your expectations, feel free to unsubscribe. But if these videos and topics feel like something different, something better, Take the time to like them, watch them, and share them with your friends. Then I'll know I'm heading in the right direction. That way I can keep on creating more content and and products and going over topics that you're genuinely interested in. Let's work together to create a community that cares about each other instead of only caring about parting you from your hard-earned dollars. I believe you want more, and I want to give you more. More without the BS and without the manipulation. Just my best stuff shared with you every few days. So until next time, prepare, adapt, and overcome.